everybody, it's Miss Broad and this is another Big Write session for year one. This is Big Write number two and in your home school education packs, you are looking for this picture here, the one with the dragon and the twins on it. Now, as with um, the last session, there is a story starter. So we want you to finish the story using the picture for inspiration. So the story starter for this one is... The king had known that the gift he gave to his children on their fifth birthday was dangerous. He was prepared to take the risk of letting them own a pet dragon. One day, the twins would rule the kingdom together and they would need all the help they could get. No one could deny that a dragon was a powerful ally. Now, before you start thinking about what's going to happen next in the story, it's really important that you make sure you know what all of the words mean. So I've picked out a few of the words that I would like you to investigate and perhaps add them to your list from the last session. So one of the words is the word gift. Now, we had this in a guided reading session. So I'm hoping that you will remember what the word gift means. But if you're not sure, ask your grown-up to help you find out. Now, another word that I have chosen for you to investigate is the word kingdom. What does kingdom mean? And the last word that I've chosen that I think would be a good one to investigate is the word ally. That's a very tricky word and I wonder if you can find out what it means. Once you've found out what all of the words mean in the story starter, then you can start planning your story. Now remember, we already have the beginning of the story, so we know how it begins, but we want you to decide what will happen in the middle of the story and we want to know how the story will end. So that's what you need to think about when you're planning. Now, Last week, I told you that we like to listen to music when we're doing Big Right because it gives us something to focus on when we're trying to think about what might happen next and when we're thinking about our sentence structures. Now, I thought it'd be really nice if you chose a piece of music that had something to do with dragons in it. So that might be nice for you to listen to whilst you're playing, playing it to help you with your writing. Now... As with last week, when you're writing your sentences, please remember to use a capital letter at the start of your sentence, finger spaces between the words to make it easier for people to read and uh, appropriate punctuation at the end of your sentence. So you're looking for things like full stops, exclamation marks if something exciting or scary happens or question marks if you're writing a question. Now, I wonder what will happen next in this story. What adventures will the twins have? What will the dragon do? And I'm really intrigued to know, what's this on the end of this fork? What is happening with this dragon and the twins? Now, when you start writing your sentences and your story, I've got an extra challenge for you today. I want you to try and join two sentences together using the word and. Now, remember, we only use the word and once to join two sentences. So remember punctuation at the end of that sentence once you've done that. Good luck everybody and I will set you another Big Right Challenge soon. Have fun, we really look forward to hearing what happens with your dragons. Take care, bye for now.